What do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. Gunfire. Brothers, we may have parasites to deal with. They are over here.
people, watch it! We have company! Find a way out of here. Fraser, there's a door over here. Might be a way through. To it. Ah, let's see where this goes. Here again. There must be a way into the city somewhere. Whoa, up there. That ledge with waterfalls. That's the way forward. thought I'd see a place more spectacular than Halapadu. It's a shame, in a way, that Baloo is hidden from the world. Now I know why. There's another god. I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. 
Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. Damn it. They've blown the entrance. That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. Trying to slow us down. Yeah. <laughs> In here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Hurry up. We need to catch up with you. I see him. Okay. Big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bar? Or a well. Possibly both. <laughs> Bit deeper here. Look, there's some air bubbles coming up from the pool. Cunnard script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Is that a sitar? Vina. It's the sitar's distant ancestor. Maybe they gave performances in here.
What do we have here? Incense? Or herbs? Fraser, over here. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. Whoa. Look at this. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Sav get that tusk. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Kanesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. Through here. <sighs> Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there?
Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. Hi. You all right? Sorry, I just... need to get my head back in the game and I'll eat... Hey! Aideen Ross! <gasps> Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> Your head back in the game now? Oh, smarter. I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Swing over now.
Oh, whole place is studded. Top of a doorway over here. That'll work. Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. That's what? <sighs> what on earth is this place? Throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up. Not they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find a salve. Or until he finds us. See your way up? Looking. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. <laughs> I'll give this a spin. The hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because... But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. That's Vasuki, a king of the Nagas. Entities that take the form of the King Cobra. It shows his control over fear and death. Mm. Cobras were always my favorite snake. Don't think I have a favorite snake. Okay, now what? 
Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Handholds on the other side of those windows. Cool. Okay, I've got this one. Bringing down Shiva's drum. Oh, we'd better get a move on. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Hey, hey, now, grab onto something. Okay, steady. Oh. And we're good. Time to see what's up there. Not up to me. Oh. oh. It's running all the way down to the end. That's cool. Bet I need to do the same on the other side. Safe bet. I'll wait here. Sure thing. Another crank up ahead. Thank you. 
going back now. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, good suggestion. Ah, oh, that was a close one. See my house from here. All right, then. There we go. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, let's see what's up there, shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Ugh. You were right? Of course I was. About what? What you said. Back in that place with all the statues and everything. <laughs> Things always come in threes. Three points yeah. of the trident, the light, <laughs> and three beams. That looks right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. Huh. Not off to a great start. Hold on. I've got an idea. What are you doing? Improvising. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Uh, right. Uh, Copy that. Uh, Got it. Bum. We'll have to do the other side first. Does that mean I can put this mirror down? If you have to. Huh. A 
I liked hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. Look up. The statue's not the right place. <gasps> ah, right. Nadine, be a dear. We're ahead of you. Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit. They found us! Get you ready! Shit!
water is quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so, Nadine Voss. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. God. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on Oh, on the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yes, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't! Don't try anything stupid. Huh. Nothing over here. You'd better not be stalling. 
Parashurama? What now? Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! Testing my patience. He's yielding. It's going to fall! Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? Uh, I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Gonna sacrifice himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her.
Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what, nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. smoking. <laughs> Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. The uh, 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 have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just like. saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias. <laughs> Uh, well, I tried. Asav's a cagey one. Almost never talks shop in front of me. Can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoysala crap. Hoysala. Yeah, the two. 